<laughs> well, are we ready? That's the little one. Do you want to squeeze out to me, Tom? Or I do, I do. Come over here, come on. Come on, come on. You know you want to. Yeah, no picture taking. No. Let's go. Oh, let's go. It's hurry up and go, isn't it? I yes, mean, now we're all ready and now you're stopping us. Because it's funny. I want, I want the, I want the <laughs> smile. <laughs> This comes on. Remember, it was me swearing. The first thing got shaven and This is what science is all about. <laughs> so we decided to drive seven hours across Arizona, Texas, and New Mexico. And we didn't have a hotel. And it turns out that if you listen to Mr. Olding, Dr. Olding, then you don't stop. When you go through a town and you see it, there's always people think it says Marys and Holiday Inn and Hilton. But he says, no, 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 can we just go 10 minutes further on? And you think, well, why? And it turns out that it's budgetary, primarily. It must be. Because then you turn up at these little shacks on the side of the road. And they just sort of, they've got a little red neon sign and they usually say, hotel, because the M's fallen off. And then at the side of that, there's a little thing and it says, um, Itty bar or something like that because again bits of it have fallen off and every hotel that you wanted us to stay at was an itty bar <laughs> literally I'm not actually joking am I joking? No sir. <laughs> what have you thought about the breakfasts we've been having? The food in America? The uh... <laughs> Words again. I am, yeah, I am. Who's been sh? Huh? We've not been sh. I quite liked it. The breakfast is just too much, though. Yeah, I suppose so. The coffee's like gravel. They don't do coffee. It's because, I, I think that's because you've. You've got to have a lot of everything. And you can't physically drink a lot of coffee, so they make it out of soil. <laughs> Where do you work then? I work in a physics laboratory. That gives me the, uh, the, 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 the prowess and the stature to pre present a programme such as this. Because even though I look rather, rather young and perhaps not like a physicist, it must be established that I have some knowledge so that the audience trust me. <laughs> so I'm glad that you wrote in the script. For, for a working physicist like me, this is a journey of exploration and discovery. I, I, yeah. but, but I think that ra I should change my accent rather because, you know, this, this could be rather alienating. So, I'm going to, like, just do yeah, a bit more working class, like, so they, are, so they can feel what I'm doing. Because it's not, because the BBC is not about, it's not about giving information anymore. It's about them feeling the journey. It's about them seeing it through my eyes.